What's up, Wildlings? Colin Stuckert here, the Wild CEO, for a video on collagen for weight loss. Let's go through this presentation real quick and see how you can add collagen to your routine to maybe stimulate some weight loss, to maybe strengthen your bones, your nails, your hair, and all the different things that collagen is known for. Okay, overview, collagen and weight loss. So collagen is a powerful structural protein that is used for a variety of functions all over your body. Studies have indeed found that consuming collagen has some impressive benefits, especially considering that your body begins to produce less of it around the time you enter your 30s. I'm 35 and I can attest to this. It seems like in my 30s, there's all these nagging health things that are starting to crop up. Whereas in my 20s, I could pretty much do anything I wanted, sleep when I wanted, eat when I wanted, and I might feel not great for a day or two, but it seems like if my routine isn't on point, that even like today, I didn't get a lot of sleep, not feeling that great. It always seems like it's something. That's why your nutrition, your health, your supplementation is of paramount importance and then staying consistent. One of the benefits of collagen protein is that collagen can help you lose weight if used within the confines of the natural way of eating and a basic fitness exercise or movement routine. So we're not suggesting that you're gonna take a soup of collagen and then just the pounds are gonna melt off. It's gonna require utilizing the foundational aspects of health, movement, real food, sleep, reducing stress, et cetera. So when you're trying to decrease body fat and improve fitness, a high quality protein and collagen for repair and recovery is paramount. It also helps you reduce overeating since when your body is starved for nutrition, for nutrients, for example, after you did a hard workout the day before you went on a long run, your appetite's gonna increase because your body is telling you to eat things that will repair the damage you did. That's what you do when you exercise. You break down muscle tissue, you stress bone, and what your body does is says, oh, hey, let's repair that and then make it better for next time because if we're gonna be doing this on a regular basis, we need to get stronger and fitter. So when you're using something like collagen, those nutrients are gonna help you repair so that you don't end up overeating on empty calories. And instead, you're eating nutrient-dense foods that your body is then gonna utilize for repair and recovery. And there'll be linked to this presentation below where you can find all the research. So point one is increase satiety. Adding collagen to your diet, maybe it's in a cup of water, maybe it's in a smoothie, a shake, a morning coffee. This is going to increase satiety, which is basically the feeling of fullness. You're gonna reduce appetite, which is gonna to lead to the benefits I just mentioned. You're not gonna overeat on empty calories. You're gonna be able to control your hormones. You're gonna be able to control your appetite. You're not gonna mindlessly eat all day long, etc. So that's one of the big benefits. There's some studies here that link specifically to gelatin and collagen and how they can help you do that. So point two is can reduce overall calorie intake. There's a ton of research that suggests that a calorie restricted diet and or frequent bouts of calorie restriction, which is why I love fasting so much, can help with pretty much all aspects of health. So again, it's connected to that satiety. When you can increase satiety, and when you can eat foods that are high satiety, you're gonna reduce the amount of energy you have to consume, carbs and fat, to get to the protein, and then the minerals and vitamins that are essential for the rest and repair. Point three, joint health and muscle strength. There's been a ton of research around collagen, it is why it has become a very popular product in the supplement space. It's also been used in skincare and hair care products for years because of the benefits of elasticity and some research around the benefits of collagen for bones and hair growth and nail health and eyesight even. All these different things are connected. And you can find a bunch of research, obviously on Google, PubMed or whatever, and there'll be a link below if you wanna dig into that a bit more. So point four is not specifically just collagen, but any diet that increases protein, almost every research study done where they've upped protein in the test subjects diet, there's been more favorable results. Most people under eat protein as it is. And what that means is they end up eating a lot of energy, which is carbs and fat. Because they eat so much of this energy and they're not eating enough nutrition and repair, which is from vitamins, minerals, and protein, they end up overeating. And obviously that leads to fat gain. Obesity, as I've heard it defined by a lot of very smart people, is basically a nutrient starved energy rich diet. So what that means is energy, carbs and fat, you have a bunch of this energy. That's usually what your body burns up and uses for fuel. Okay, that's also what readily goes into fat stores. Protein generally gets used for rest and repair only. And there is a process that can convert protein into energy, but it's very inefficient. Your body doesn't like to do it. Your body prefers fuel from fat and carbs, which is why we crave it so much. It's why protein is always that kind of, you're gnawing on it, you're gnawing on it, you're gnawing on it, you get really full, you don't really crave it. Whereas we're almost always craving carbs and fat. This is just an evolutionary mechanism built into our species because of the scarce environment we used to live in. And we need to be incentivized to eat a lot of energy when it was available because there were times when it wasn't available. And our food rich, energy rich, protein low environment today, it's the reverse. We need to prioritize protein and we need to reduce the amount of energy. So collagen can obviously help you do that as well as 
any protein, eating more protein generally displaces energy. So you end up eating less carbs and fat. So here's a quote from Anonymous. Did you know by the time you hit 50, you will have lost half of your natural collagen? Yeah, uh, aging is a big deal. And the more you age, the more active you have to be, the more protein you need to consume, the more nutrients you need to consume. There's a lot of issues with bioavailability and absorption and what your body processes and whatnot. And so you have to continually be trying to mitigate the effects of aging and taking more collagen can help you do that. But of course, we are recommending you eat a well-balanced diet. You eat real food that you're prepping at home from real raw ingredients as close to nature as possible. And then you're getting outside, you're getting sunlight, you're moving, you're sleeping eight hours a night, you're spending time with friends and family, and you're having a purpose. These are all the principles of the wild lifestyle. And if you wanna learn more about that, head over to wildfoods.co and hop on our newsletter and you can get the free lessons right to your inbox. That's it for today. If you like this video, give us a like, follow along, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.